Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's Jen on Acre by the Creek. On today's Two Minutes Tuesday, we're talking about growing zucchini vertically. I'm going to show you the best way that I found to grow my zucchini plants, and by the end of this video, you'll have all of the information you need to succeed too. Zucchini have a reputation of being a sprawling plant, and they can quickly take up the precious square feet that you have in your garden. By growing my zucchini plants this way, I am able to not only save space, but also help my plants from being ridden by disease. Growing your zucchini plant vertically is not only healthier for the plant, but it also makes harvesting your zucchini plants easier because they're not buried under this big canopy of leaves. The plants that grow in the cucurbit family, such as melons, cucumbers, squash, zucchini, they all put out like this snake-like vine, and that's the part that we're gonna be staking up. If you don't stake up that snake part of the stem, that's okay. It's just gonna mean that your plant is gonna sprawl and really spread out and take up a lot of space in your garden. Keeping this snake pruned up and then staking it vertically is basically all you need to do to keep your zucchini growing vertically. So when you go in to do your pruning, you just wanna take the leaves off as close to the base of the stem as you can. You don't want to cut all the way like up here. Um, you want to get close just so everything stays nice and tidy. So I'm just going to go through and take off a few of these that I no longer need. Honestly, you can really take a lot off of your zucchini plants. You would be surprised how resilient they are and they it doesn't even seem like you've done anything to them because they just keep growing like nothing ever happened. Now, as much as it hurts me to do so because this does have blooms on it, this is like a little side shoot of the zucchini plant. I'm also going to take this one off. I don't want this plant growing this way into the peppers. So I know it has a bloom on it and trust me, I don't like doing this, but I really want my growth to be focused back here. Now you can see that I can kind of lift this snake up. So this is now getting to the point where I can tie this to the cattle panel there. And then that's just gonna continue to grow up and all of my new growth will come from here. So in this next part, I'm just gonna be using some garden twine and this is what I'm gonna use to stake my zucchini plant up to the cattle panel. So I'm just going up behind the cattle panel and bringing the twine up forward. Zucchini is not a natural climber, so you do kind of have to do the work for the plant, but it does end up really being worth it, having all this extra garden space. Now this zucchini plant is gonna be plenty happy. It's not gonna mind at all that it's missing all of these leaves. Still getting plenty of new growth and blooms up here, but the beauty of it is we don't have this huge sprawling plant in the garden. Now, by all means, guys, you do not have to grow your zucchini plants this way. You can definitely let them sprawl out and grow the natural way that they like to. But growing our plants this way helps us to save garden space. It helps to keep our plants disease free. And it also makes harvesting easier. So this is why we like to grow our zucchini plants this way. I hope that you guys learned something on today's Two Minute Tuesday. I will keep you guys updated on here as well as on my Instagram of how this vertical growing is going for me this season. I've already had a couple of harvests, which have been wonderful. I'll be back on Friday with another video. So if you like gardening and gardening tips, be sure that you're subscribed to my channel that way you don't miss it while you're down there give this video a thumbs up thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys next time